What's up, Nation? It is a beautiful day here in Rhodes, Greece, and we are going to the Palace of the Grand Master of the Knights of Rhodes. <laughs> so long. <laughs> so when the Crusades came here, they built their own castles for a stopping point on the way to the Holy City. So we're gonna go there. We're, it's really early, and we're gonna show you what this beautiful castle was built for. Yes. As I said earlier, it is very early. This place is cleared out. Like, you could barely walk on the street yesterday and there is no one here. We are up at seven o'clock this morning to try and get here before the cruise ships port. Okay, and we have made it. It is 8.03. We walked across the city for like 15 minutes and now we're here. We have it all to ourselves. I'm so excited. after being in Southeast Asia for over three months to like come to Europe and experience this, I feel like I'm in a dream right now, like a dream works dream. I feel like I'm in a combination of Robin Hood, Game of Thrones, and also Frozen. Apparently these mosaics are original. They don't, you walk on them because they are from the 14th century. Whoa, Medusa is very scary. Influences from China. So crazy if you can see behind us there's literally no one in this castle. It feels like it's our own and we're just the king and queen walking through. <laughs> I'm the queen. This castle did exist, but it got severely damaged just because so many different powers tried to take over this city. So in like the early 1900s, mm -hmm. the Italians <laughs> had it because they won this from the Turks. And they did a major restoration. So not everything we're seeing is original, but all the artifacts inside are. So for those of you who don't know, the reason this castle even exists is because the knights were making a crusade to the Holy Land and they needed a place that was safe so they could stay and defend other travelers who were on the same journey as them. And apparently this room is where the knights were like knighted and they kept their court. That was amazing. Pretty darn cool. Now we are going to walk down the street of the Knights, which is pretty awesome. Show you that. And then we're going to the archeological museum that we can enter with our combined tickets. So we are here on the Knights Street. And it's basically just like a long hallway of different corridors and each country sponsored a knight or a nobleman to come from their country and protect people along their pilgrimage to the Holy Land that are from that country. Really? So, yeah, so it was like, you had like, well right now like France on the right and Greece on the left and it's just like each country paid for their own slot on this long hallway of fortified houses. I, I think it's really cool that there's like the symbol of each house or like country that mm -hmm. are still here on these streets. And now we're at the Archaeological Museum, which is really just kind of like a ruins 
of a hospital. Yeah. Which keeps with the theme that we were telling you guys of the knights protecting the people that were traveling to the Holy Land. The Pope wanted a hospital so that people that got sick on the trek would be okay. Just like most hospitals, they were always ready for intruders. Or these were maybe thrown in here? I don't know. So is this Slytherin from Harry Potter or is this from King's Landing Game of Thrones? Okay, so for the most part we're walking on mosaics, however, they also have, most of the streets are made of this like rock smash and cement thing, which we first saw in China and we thought was like a therapeutic way to like make your feet feel better, but apparently it might have been Grecian too. We thought this place was only like a ruined site, but there's like literally an entire museum on the second floor. So now we're gonna check it out. That museum was awesome and now we are gonna find some lunch we're probably just gonna go back and make some lunch yes. we will pick you back up when we get back out and go to the Acropolis. Acropolis okay so we just had lunch it was not very eventful it's like some euros and a feta salad that Leah just made anyways now we're on our way to the Acropolis we want to show you to get out of the old city you have to go through not one not two not three but four gates and two moats to get out of the city. This is what we just walked through. That's the first wall, second wall, and third wall, and they're all still here. How is that possible from the 1400s? Okay, so we have made it to the grounds of the old city. However, it's like really tall grass. So there's a lot of columns and like old marble that's in the ground, but it's too difficult to obviously mow. So it just looks like the plains right now. We're about to stumble upon the Acropolis. You can see it on top of the hill. We're taking you there. So we're sitting here in the old Acropolis's stadium, which was excavated, I think they said 1912, which is pretty crazy that that wasn't that long ago. And we're here to try our little moose mouse cake. It's moose. Apparently they rebuilt this stadium and it's like really small compared to the other one. It's a theater. Oh. And we made it to the Acropolis but there's scaffolding. Oh well, you gotta preserve stuff, right? And the view is amazing. I don't know if you can see but the mountains of Turkey are in the background right there. Rhodes has been absolutely awesome. There's a lot to see here, more than we actually expected, like things to see, does mm -hmm. that make sense? Like there's so many like, you can go see the castle, you can go see the palace, you can go see the archeological museum. You can go to they the beach. They have art museums, they have beaches, they, they have this Acropolis. Acropolis. But we've been walking all day it feels like. <laughs> so unless you have a scooter prepared to walk a lot, there's a lot to see and probably not that much time to see it. We've had a spectacular day. Started off at the palace of the something of the Knights of Rhodes, and then the Archaeological Museum, the Acropolis of Rhodes, and now the beach. 
Thanks for joining us for this journey. It was a great day in Rhodes. We highly recommend everything we did today. It was so much fun. We would do it again. What's up, Nation? Today we're gonna show you the Knights of the Round Table no. slash why they came to the Crusades, why they came here. It's not the Knights of the Round Table. And this is definitely going in the outtakes now. Stay out, bad people.